Welcome to this brief introduction to backdrilling for signal integrity and the documentation of backdrilling in SpeedStack. In the next couple of minutes, I'll explain why we backdrill and how backdrilling is achieved and how to achieve good documentation with SpeedStack. This is a cross section of a typical stack up and on this particular stack, I've added a controlled impedance structure on layer one here. And for the purpose of the explanation, we'll imagine the signals coming from layer one transitioning into layer two. And we've got a via all the way from layer one through to layer eight, of the PCB. So from here right down to here. When a signal transfers from one layer to another, the signal, if there's a via left intact, will bounce all the way down and back up the via. So it's quite a good practice to remove that if you want to run at very high frequencies. A um, number of ways of doing that. You could either use microvia technology, which involves laser drilling and can be more complex and expensive, or you could simply use a normal plated through via and remove the copper from the rear of the board. In fact, it's called back drilling, but a better name for it would be, would be via stub removal. So let's take a look at what happens when you remove the via stub. I'll highlight the rest of the stack up now, and now we'll bring a drill in from the back of the board and gradually remove the copper so that when the signal flows in at layer one, it only has to transition into layer two. And back drilling is as simple as that. That's the reason that you will back drill, and that's how the back drilling is achieved. Quite important that you document for your PCB fabricator where the back drill starts and stops. With SpeedStack, you can document the uh, cut layer, the not cut layer, and all the documentation you need to accurately show the fabricator where you need to drill the back drill through the board. Again, for designers, it's best if you talk to the fabricator because there may be some advantages in not removing all of the stub and leaving a little bit of the stub available just to make sure you don't cut too far because if you back drill too far and cut all the way through the via, uh, the board scrapped. So uh, it's good as always to talk with your PCB fabricator. Here's the backdrop we added on the previous image. And you can see in the speed stack display, uh, if you look at the bottom right hand image here, the drill has cut through layer eight and it must cut through layer seven, but the specification says it must not cut through layer six. So it clearly shows a drill going from layer eight up to, but not actually touching layer six. A comprehensive report printed from SpeedStack now can include back drilled holes, plated through holes, laser wires, plugged through hole wires, more back drills, and non plated fixing holes, in addition to all of the impedance controlled and insertion loss controlled structures. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to back drilling and the documentation capabilities introduced in SpeedStack 2020. If you'd like further information, please do contact your local Polar office and you can find the contact details on the following slide.